Hello and welcome back to TechWolf. In this video we will be going through 50 questions and most of these questions will be related to CompTIA Plus Core 1 hardware. As hardware is one of the biggest topics on CompTIA Plus Core 1 test. So, no further ado guys and let's get into it. First question is, a user is attempting to install a new application but receives an error stating insufficient privileges. What is the most likely solution? Update the application run as administrator, reinstall the operating system, replace the hard drive or disable antivirus software. And correct answer here is run as administrator. Running the application as administrator grants the necessary privileges to install it. As reinstalling the operating system is not necessary for this issue, a hard drive replacement is irrelevant here and updating the application wouldn't resolve permissions issue. And disabling antivirus software is unlikely to help in this scenario. Next question is, a user notices their laptop battery is not charging even though it is plugged in. What is the most likely issue? Corrupted operating system, overheating CPU or central processing unit, low battery health, faulty charging cable, or incorrect drivers. And here the correct answer is faulty charging cable. As faulty charging cable is common cause of a laptop not charging. A corrupt operating system wouldn't directly affect charging. A low battery health wouldn't affect the battery's lifespan, but it should still charge. An overheating CPU could cause performance issues, but wouldn't affect charging. Incorrect drivers wouldn't affect battery charging. Next question is, a user reports their computer randomly freezes during use. Which of the following is the most likely cause? Overheating GPU, insufficient RAM, low disk space, weak Wi-Fi signal, or corrupted operating system. And correct answer here is overheating GPU. As an overheating GPU can cause system freezes and crashes, especially during graphic intensive tasks. A weak Wi-Fi signal wouldn't affect network connectivity and will not cause the system to freeze. Insufficient RAM wouldn't cause slow performance and not necessarily freezing. Low disk space typically causes performance issues but not freezing. A corrupted operating system might cause crashes, but overheating hardware is more common for freezes. Next question is, a user reports that their wireless mouse is not working. What is the most likely solution? Reinstall the wireless driver, update the operating system, adjust the screen resolution, replace the batteries, or replace the mouse. The correct answer here is replace the batteries. As dead or weak batteries in wireless mouse are the most common cause of it not working. Replacing the mouse is only necessary if it's confirmed faulty. Updating the operating system is unnecessary for a mouse issue. Screen resolution adjustments wouldn't affect the mouse. And reinstalling the driver is only necessary if there is a driver issue, but dead batteries are more likely. A technician is installing new SSD in a desktop, but the system does not affect the drive. What is the most likely cause? Loose power connection, incorrect RAM size, failed CPU, corrupted operating system or faulty monitor. The correct answer here is loose power connection. A loose power connection to the SSD would prevent it from being detected by the system. A corrupted operating system would not prevent hardware detection in the BIOS. Incorrect RAM would affect system performance, not drive detection. A failed CPU would prevent the entire system from functioning. And faulty monitor affects display, not drive detection. Question number 6. A user is unable to access the internet, but other devices on the same network work fine. What is the most likely cause? Incorrect network settings? Corrupted operating system, outdated browser, faulty RAM or ISP outage. And correct answer here is incorrect network settings. As incorrect network settings on the user's device could prevent internet access. 
If other devices are working, the ISP is not the issue. A corrupted operating system would cause broader issues, not just network problems. Faulty RAM would cause system instability, not just network access issues. And an outdated browser might cause website issues, but not total network access failure. Question number 7. A user is experiencing low frame rates while gaming. What is the most likely cause? Failing hard drive? Low disk space? Bad Wi-Fi signal? Underpowered GPU? Incorrect display resolution? And correct answer here is underpowered GPU. And an underpowered GPU will struggle to render games at a high frame rates. Display resolution may affect performance but is not the root cause of low frame rates. Low disk space affects system performance, not gaming frame rates. Wi-Fi signal strength does not affect graphic performance in offline gaming. And a failing hard drive would cause broader system issues than just a low frame rates. Next question. After setting up a new desktop, a user reports that the system is making a beep sounds but does not boot. What is the most likely issue? Faulty RAM, low disk space, corrupted operating system, bad Ethernet cable, incorrect display settings. And correct answer here is faulty RAM. As beeping sounds during boot often indicate a RAM issue. Display settings wouldn't prevent booting or cause beeping. A corrupted operating system would display errors but not beep. Low disk space wouldn't prevent the system from booting. An Ethernet cable is unrelated to the boot process. Next question. A technician installs a new sound card in desktop. But no sound is coming from the speakers. What is the most likely cause? Corrupted operating system? Sound card drivers not installed? Bad speaker connection? Incompatible RAM? Faulty power supply? And correct answer here is sound card drivers not installed. As without the correct sound card drivers, the system will not output audio. A faulty power supply would cause broader issues than just audio. A corrupted operating system would affect more than just sound. A bad speaker connection might be the issue, but drivers are more likely after new hardware installation. Incompatible RAM would cause system instability, but not audio issues. Question number 10. A user installs new software and afterward the computer keeps crashing. What is the most likely cause? Weak Wi-Fi signal? Loose RAM? Faulty hard drive? Bad GPU? Software compatibility issues? And correct answer here is software compatibility issues. As compatibility issues with newly installed software can cause system instability and crashes. A faulty hard drive would cause boot issues or data loss, not necessarily crashes after software installation. A bad GPU would affect graphics, not general system crashes. Loose RAM would prevent the system from booting or cause the other issues, but it wouldn't be directly related to the software installation, and weak Wi-Fi wouldn't cause system crashes. Question number 11. A technician notices that PC is making loud noise, and the fan speed is very high. What is the most likely cause? Loose cables? Failed power supply? Overheating components, bad RAM or corrupted BIOS? And correct answer here is overheating components. As high fan speed and noise are typically a response to overheating components. Loose cables might cause system instability, but they wouldn't cause loud fan noise. A corrupted BIOS would cause boot issues, not high fan speeds. A failed power supply caused the system to shut down, not increase fan activity. And bad RAM would cause crashes or boot failures, not loud fan noise. And question number 12. A technician is replacing a failed hard drive in laptop. After installing a new hard drive, what is the next step? Install more RAM. Reset the CMOS. 
update the BIOS, reinstall the operating system, or reconnect the Wi-Fi card. And the correct answer here is reinstall the operating system. After replacing the hard drive, the operating system needs to be reinstalled. Updating the BIOS is not necessary after hard drive replacement, and the Wi-Fi card would not have been disconnected during this process. Installing more RAM is unrelated to hard drive replacement, and resetting the CMOS is unnecessary unless there are BIOS issues. And next question, a user's monitor displays no signal. Even though the computer is turned on, what is the most likely issue? Outdated drivers, faulty CPU, bad network card, corrupted operating system, loose video cable. And correct answer here is loose video cable. As loose video cable would prevent the monitor from receiving a signal. A corrupted operating system would affect booting but wouldn't cause a no signal message. A bad network card would affect internet connectivity, not the monitor display. And faulty CPU would prevent the system from powering on. And outdated drivers would affect performance but wouldn't cause the no signal error. Next question is, a user complains that their computer is running very slow. What is the most likely cause? Loose power cable, incorrect BIOS settings, insufficient RAM, faulty monitor, or bad network card? The correct answer here is insufficient RAM. As insufficient RAM can cause the computer to run slowly due to a lack of memory. A faulty monitor would affect display, not performance. A bad network card would affect internet connectivity, not overall speed. A loose power cable would prevent the computer from turning on, and incorrect BIOS settings might cause boot issues, but not necessarily slow performance. So, next question is question 15, and a user's computer is not connecting to the Wi-Fi network. What is the most likely issue? Faulty hard drive, loose video cable, disabled Wi-Fi adapter, Corrupted operating system or bad RAM? And correct answer here is disabled Wi-Fi adapter. As disabled Wi-Fi adapter would prevent the computer from connecting to the Wi-Fi. A faulty hard drive would affect storage, not Wi-Fi connectivity. A loose video cable would affect display, not a Wi-Fi. A corrupted operating system might cause various issues, but not specifically Wi-Fi connectivity. A bad RAM would affect performance, not Wi-Fi connectivity. A user reports that their printer is printing blank pages. What is the most likely cause? Faulty monitor, empty ink cartridge, corrupted operating system, bad network card, and loose power cable. When in your CompTIA Plus exam you have questions like these, I would highly recommend you to go through all answers and think about those answers which doesn't relate to the question which have been asked and ignore those answers which you think that are most unrelated to this particular question which is asked because you will have many tricky questions like this on CompTIA A plus exam and leave only those answers which are most related to the question which have been asked as that will be the most probable answer to that particular question. And here correct answer is empty ink cartridge. An empty ink cartridge would result in blank pages being printed. A bad network card would affect connectivity not printing. A loose power cable would prevent the printer from turning on, a faulty monitor would affect display, not printing, a corrupted operating system might cause various issues, but not specifically blank pages. A user computer is not booting up. What is the most likely cause? Faulty power supply, loose video cable, corrupted operating system, bad network card, outdated drivers. And correct answer here is faulty power supply. As faulty power supply would prevent the computer from booting up. A bad network card would affect connectivity, not booting. 
a loose video cable would affect display, not booting. A corrupted operating system might cause boot issues, but not necessarily prevent booting. And outdated drivers would affect performance, but not prevent booting. Question number 18. A technician is installing a new hard drive and wants to ensure that it boots properly. Which steps should be done first? Partition the hard drive. Set the drive as a primary boot device in BIOS, format the hard drive, check for malware, or install the operating system. The correct answer here is set the drive as a primary boot device in BIOS. The system needs to boot from the correct device and setting the hard drives as the primary boot device in the BIOS ensures this. Installing the operating system is necessary, but the BIOS boot order comes first. Formatting comes after the drive is recognized as the boot device. Partitioning is required but happens later in the process. And checking for malware is irrelevant to drive installation. And question number 19. A user is reporting poor Wi-Fi connectivity in their home. What should the technician check first? BIOS settings, ISP account status, printer connection, Ethernet cable, or router placement. Router placement. As router placement is crucial for ensuring a strong Wi-Fi signal. An Ethernet cable is not relevant for Wi-Fi. ISP or Internet Service Provider account status could affect the service but not signal strength specifically. BIOS settings don't affect Wi-Fi connectivity and the printer connection is unrelated to the Wi-Fi signal. A user cannot access certain websites but can access others. What is the most likely cause? Damaged network cable, faulty RAM, low disk space, DNS issues or failed hard drive? And correct answer here is DNS issues. As DNS issues can cause a user to fail to access specific websites. A failed hard drive would prevent the system from the functioning. Faulty RAM would lead to system instability, not selective website issues. Low disk space would slow the system but not cause this issue. A damaged network cable would affect all internet access, not just some websites. And question number 21. A technician is installing GPU in a gaming PC or graphical processing unit or video card and what must be considered before installation. Wi-Fi card installation, printer compatibility, power supply wattage, USB port compatibility or screen resolution. And correct answer here is power supply wattage. The power supply must be adequate to support the power requirements of the new GPU. USB ports are irrelevant to the GPU installation. Screen resolution is an output of the GPU but isn't critical during the installation. Printers are unrelated to the GPU installations and the Wi-Fi card is not connected when installing a GPU. A laptop is running but the screen remains blank after boot. What is the most likely cause? Faulty display cable, failed hard drive, bad RAM, overheating CPU or incorrect boot sequence. And correct answer here is faulty display cable. A faulty display cable would prevent the screen from showing anything even if the system is running. A bad RAM would prevent the system from booting altogether. A failed hard drive would still allow the BIOS to display. And an incorrect boot sequence would show an error message, not a blank screen. An overheating CPU would cause shutdown, not a blank screen. A user cannot connect to the network with an Ethernet cable. But Wi-Fi works fine. What is the most likely issue? Outdated BIOS. Low disk space faulty network card, bad Ethernet cable, or incorrect IP settings. And correct answer here is incorrect IP settings. As incorrect IP settings could prevent a wired connection while Wi-Fi still works. If the network card were faulty, neither Ethernet nor Wi-Fi would work. A bad Ethernet cable would prevent any connection at all. 
and the BIOS is not relevant to network connectivity and low disk space wouldn't affect network connection. A user is experiencing frequent blue screens on their desktop. Which of the following is the most likely cause? Overheating CPU, corrupted browser, full hard drive, weak Wi-Fi signal, incorrect display settings. And correct answer here is overheating CPU. As overheating can cause system instability and frequent blue screens. A corrupted browser would cause web issues, not system crashes. A full hard drive could slow the system but wouldn't lead to blue screens. Display settings would not cause system crashes. And Wi-Fi signal issues do not cause blue screens. After installing a new monitor, the display is very dim. What should the technician check first? Display cable connection. Monitor brightness settings. Graphics card, power supply or operating system? And correct answer here is monitor brightness settings. As brightness settings should be checked first if the display is dim. The power supply would affect the entire system not just the monitor's brightness. A loose cable could cause no display, not a dim one. The operating system wouldn't cause a dim display issue. And the graphics card affects display output but wouldn't likely cause dimness alone. A user connects a new printer to their computer but it does not appear in the printer list. What should be checked first? Display resolution, power supply, BIOS settings, printer drivers, or RAM configuration? The correct answer here is printer drivers. Installing the proper drivers ensures the printer will be recognized by the system. Display resolution is unrelated to printer functionality and BIOS settings don't affect printer installation. And the power supply wouldn't prevent printer from being detected. And RAM configuration is unrelated to printers. A technician is upgrading a user's laptop RAM. After installation, the laptop fails to boot. What is the most likely cause? Faulty screen, outdated drivers, bad power supply, corrupted hard drive or incompatible RAM. And the correct answer here is incompatible RAM. If the RAM is incompatible, the system will not boot properly. A corrupted hard drive would allow the system to reach the BIOS. A bad power supply would prevent the laptop from powering on at all. A faulty screen wouldn't stop the system from booting. And outdated drivers would cause issues after boot, not prevent it. A technician installs a new SSD in a laptop. But it is not recognized by the system. What should be checked first? Display settings, printer drivers, firewall settings, BIOS password or SATA cable connection. And the correct answer here is SATA cable connection. A SATA cable must be properly connected for the SSD to be recognized. Display settings are irrelevant to storage drives. Printer drivers wouldn't affect the an SSD installation. Firewall settings do not affect SSD detection. And the BIOS password does not prevent hardware detection. And question number 29. A technician is troubleshooting a desktop that randomly shuts down. Which of the following is the most likely cause? Full hard drive. Outdated display drivers. Overheating CPU incorrect boot order or bad printer connection and correct answer here is overheating cpu an overheating cpu can cause random shutdowns to protect the system outdated display drivers would cause display issues not shutdowns printer connection issues wouldn't cause system shutdowns and boot order affects startup not shutdown a full hard drive would slow performance but not cause shutdowns. Question 30. A user cannot connect to the internet, but other devices on the network work fine. What should the technician check first? CPU temperature, sound settings, display drivers, network adapter settings or printer connection. 
and correct answer here is network adapter settings. Incorrect network adapter settings can prevent the internet access on one device. Display drivers affect video output, not network connectivity. Printer connection is unrelated to internet access and CPU temperature doesn't affect internet connectivity. Sound settings are irrelevant to this issue. Question 31. A user connects an external monitor to their laptop, but the display is blank. What should the technician check first? Display settings on the laptop, printer connection, BIOS settings, hard drive status or power supply. And correct answer here is display settings on the laptop. The laptop display settings may need to be configured to extend or mirror the screen. And BIOS settings are unlikely to affect external display functionality. The power supply wouldn't affect external monitor display unless the laptop isn't powering up at all. And hard drive status is unrelated to display output. The printer connection is also irrelevant to monitor output. And question 32. A technician replaces laptop battery, but the system still does not hold a charge. What is the most likely cause? Incorrect RAM, outdated operating system, incompatible screen, malware infection or faulty power adapter. And the correct answer here is faulty power adapter. A faulty power adapter could prevent the laptop from charging properly even with a new battery. RAM wouldn't affect battery performance and the operating system version doesn't affect battery charging. Malware doesn't directly influence battery charging issues and screen is unrelated to the charging problems. A desktop PC shows a no boot device found after being moved to a new location. What is the most likely cause? Overheating CPU, incorrect screen resolution, loose SATA cable, outdated graphics card, or missing printer drivers. And correct answer here is loose SATA cable. The SATA cable may have come loose during the move, preventing the hard drive from being detected. The screen resolution doesn't affect the boot process and printer drivers are unrelated to the boot devices. Overheating could cause a shutdown but not this error. The graphics card wouldn't cause a no boot device error. And question 34. A laptop keyboard is unresponsive. But an external USB keyboard works fine. What is the most likely cause? A corrupted operating system? Bad RAM? BIOS misconfiguration? Faulty laptop keyboard? Or malware infection? And the correct answer here is faulty laptop keyboard. If an external keyboard works but the built-in one does not, the laptop keyboard is likely faulty. A corrupted operating system would affect all input devices, not just the laptop keyboard. And bad RAM would cause more general system instability. And BIOS settings would affect both keyboards, where the malware wouldn't affect only the laptop keyboard. And question number 35. A user reports that their desktop fan is extremely loud, even when the system is idle. What should the technician check first? CPU temperature, faulty hard drive, network settings, display drivers, or loose cables? And correct answer here is CPU temperature. A high CPU temperature can cause the fan to run at high speeds to cool the system. A faulty hard drive would cause the performance issues, not fan noise. Loose cables wouldn't typically cause fan noise and display drivers don't affect fan behavior. Network settings are unrelated to the system cooling. And question number 36. A desktop computer is not powering on. The power cable is plugged in and the power outlet is working. What is the most likely issue? A corrupted BIOS? Insufficient RAM, faulty power supply, outdated drivers or bad hard drive. And correct answer here is faulty power supply. A faulty power supply would prevent the computer from turning on. Corrupted BIOS would prevent booting but not power on. Drivers only affect the system after it's booted. 
a bad hard drive wouldn't stop the system from powering on. An efficient RAM would cause errors but wouldn't prevent the system from powering on. And question son number 37, a user is unable to connect their Bluetooth headset to a laptop. What should the technician check first? Ethernet connection, Bluetooth is enabled on the laptop, network drivers, hard drive status and USB ports. The correct answer here is Bluetooth is enabled on the laptop. Ensuring Bluetooth is enabled in the first step in the troubleshooting Bluetooth device connections. Network drivers are for wired wireless internet, not Bluetooth. Hard drive status is irrelevant to Bluetooth functionality. USB ports are unrelated to Bluetooth connectivity and Bluetooth devices don't require Ethernet. And question 38. A laptop has an intermittent connection when connected to Wi-Fi. What is the most likely cause? Incorrect BIOS configuration. Faulty keyboard. Full hard drive. Weak Wi-Fi signal. Or bad display drivers. And the correct answer here is weak Wi-Fi signal. A weak Wi-Fi signal can cause intermittent connection issues. Display drivers affect video output, not Wi-Fi connectivity. And BIOS settings wouldn't cause intermittent connection issues. A full hard drive would slow down the system but wouldn't affect Wi-Fi. A faulty keyboard doesn't affect network connectivity. And question 39. A user reports their laptop battery drains very quickly. What should be checked first? Power settings, BIOS version, display resolution, audio drivers or network drivers. The correct answer here is you should check power settings. Adjusting power settings can help conserve battery life by reducing power consumption. Display resolution does affect power consumption but should not be the first thing checked. Network drivers don't affect battery life significantly. Audio drivers have little impact on battery life. And BIOS version is not likely related to battery drain. And question number 40. A technician installs a second RAM module in desktop but the system fails to boot. What is the most likely issue? Corrupted hard drive. Outdated drivers. Incompatible RAM. Incorrect CPU settings or faulty power supply. And the correct answer here is incompatible RAM. As incompatible RAM can prevent the system from booting properly. A faulty power supply would prevent the system from powering on at all and corrupted hard drive wouldn't affect booting in this manner. Incorrect CPU settings wouldn't cause this specific issue and drivers are irrelevant during the boot process. A technician needs to replace broken display on laptop. What is the most important consideration before proceeding? Power off the laptop, disable Wi-Fi, reinstall the operating system, upgrade the CPU or remove the hard drive. And here the answer is power off the laptop. Powering off the laptop ensures safety when replacing hardware like a display. Reinstalling the operating system is unnecessary for a display replacement. And upgrading the CPU is unrelated to display replacement. And removing the hard drive is not necessary for this task. And disabling Wi-Fi is irrelevant to hardware replacement. And question number 42. A user is experiencing poor sound quality from their desktop speakers. What should the technician check first? RAM capacity, monitor resolution, audio cable connection, CPU temperature or BIOS version? And the correct answer here is audio cable connection. A loose or improperly connected audio cable can result in poor sound quality. And BIOS version do not affect sound quality. And monitor resolution has no relation to audio output. A CPU temperature affects performance but not sound quality. A RAM capacity impacts system performance not audio quality. And question number 43 is a technician installs a new wireless adapter in desktop. 
but the system does not detect it. What should be checked first? BIOS password, printer status, wireless adapter drivers, CPU performance or display settings. The correct answer here is wireless adapter drivers. Installing the correct drivers is crucial for the system to detect new hardware like a wireless adapter. And display settings have no effect on wireless adapters. CPU performance does not affect wireless detection or printer status is unrelated to the wireless adapter. A BIOS password would not prevent hardware detection. A user's laptop is running slower than usual after updating the operating system. What should the technician check first? Printer drivers, available disk space, display resolution, monitor settings or Ethernet cable. A correct answer here is available disk space. A lack of disk space can cause the system to slow down, especially after large updates. Display resolution wouldn't affect overall system speed. Ethernet cables are irrelevant to the system performance and printer drivers would affect printing, not overall performance. Monitor settings have no effect on the system speed. And question number 45. A desktop is randomly freezing and restarting. What is the most likely cause? Low Wi-Fi signal, printer drivers, full hard drive, incorrect display resolution, overheating CPU. The correct answer here is overheating CPU. Overheating can cause random freezes and restarts as the system tries to cool down. Printer drivers would not cause the system instability and display resolution wouldn't result in system freezing. A low Wi-Fi signal affects connectivity, not system stability. A full hard drive would slow the system, but not cause restarts. And question number 46. A technician is replacing the motherboard in a desktop. What is the most important consideration before doing so? Install new drivers. Updating the operating system. Disable Wi-Fi. Power off and unplug the system. Replace the CPU. The correct answer here is power off and unplug the system. The system must be powered off and unplugged to safely replace a motherboard. New drivers are installed after the motherboard is replaced. The CPU is not always replaced with the motherboard. And disabling Wi-Fi is unnecessary for motherboard replacement. And updating the operating system is not related to motherboard installation. Next question. A user laptop is not charging even though it is plugged in. What should the technician check first? Power adapter. Display settings. Network drivers. RAM configuration or BIOS settings? A correct answer here is power adapter. A faulty power adapter is common cause of a laptop not charging. Display settings wouldn't affect charging and network drivers are unrelated to battery charging and BIOS settings are unlikely to cause this issue. A RAM configuration doesn't affect battery charging at all. And next question, a technician installs a new SSD in a desktop, but the drive is not showing up in the operating system. What should they check first? Graphics card drivers, audio output, BIOS update, monitor settings or SATA cable connection. And the correct answer here is SATA cable connection. Ensuring the SATA cable is properly connected is the first step in troubleshooting why the SSD isn't being recognized. A graphics card drivers do not affect drive detection. Monitor settings are unrelated to storage devices. A BIOS update might help, but checking connection is the first step. Audio settings have no bearing on drive recognition. A desktop computer is powering on but not displaying anything on the monitor. What should the technician check first? Printer drivers, RAM capacity, monitor power cable, CPU fan or keyboard connection? And correct answer here is monitor power cable. 
If the monitor power cable is not connected or faulty, the screen will remain blank. Printer drivers are irrelevant to display issues. The CPU fan is essential for cooling but unrelated to the display issues. Insufficient RAM would cause performance issues but would not prevent the display from working. A keyboard connection does not affect the monitor's functionality at all. And last question, a user reports that their wireless mouse has stopped working. What is the first thing the technician should check? And if you have watched this far, please leave in comments that you have watched all 50 questions. And here the answers of the questions are as follows. BIOS settings, USB keyboard connection, mouse drivers, battery level of the mouse and network connection. And the correct answer here is battery level of the mouse. A dead battery is the most common cause of a wireless mouse not working. So yes guys, hope that you found this video useful. If you did leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one.